Sports.com here with David Benavidez. How you feeling today, man? I'm feeling good, man. I'm really happy. My brother got a, a, a great victory tonight. It's the first time 160, so um, you know, he's just shaking the cobwebs off. He's never fought at this high of a weight class, so um, he looked good. I feel like he could do a, a he, could, he could challenge a lot of the champions in this weight class. So I'm just happy to see him uh, with a good victory. Do you want to see him fighting at 160? Who that 47? You fought like one fight at 54. Yeah. Do you want to see him at 160? Though? I feel like he just wanted to try it out. He wanted to test the waters. Um. He's been fighting at 154 his whole career. I mean, he's been fighting at 147 his whole career, so he found out 154, so I think he's really comfortable. He can make those weights. Uh, the weight class is pretty easy, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see him in the division. Last thing on your brother, um, if it was up to you, who's like a good target you want for him, man? What'd you say? Who's a good target you want for him at 160, man? Well, to be honest with you, bro, I wouldn't mind seeing him fight Charlo. You know, any of the Charlos. I think that would be a great fight. Um, my brother, he's a competitor. You know, he's ready for whoever. You know, it doesn't matter who it is. Um, he trains hard. Like I, like I said, he's a really great fighter. So I'm, 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 I'm down to see him with whoever. You know what I mean? So let's just, let's just make it happen. What do you think of all black guys? He looked really good. I feel like he still has to work on a, on a couple things. I mean, uh, probably a little bit more power. Uh, probably a little bit more power, but he looked really good, man. I'm, uh, I'm happy for the, with the way he did, and just, I'm happy to keep uh, being able to keep working with him and keep improving. Um, I have to ask you, man. Um, Caleb Plant, Jamal Charlo, the slap. What was your whole reaction to that thing, man? I mean, to be honest with you, I, I wouldn't. I'm not surprised, you know, because those dudes they get all, in a, in a, under a lot of people's skin, so. I mean, and then the way that Caleb Plant came out and told the story about it, I mean, he, he kind of put, his back was put into a corner, so he kind of had to show, you know, he had to, he had to show these people, I think they have to respect him, so, I mean, I don't blame him at all, I probably would have done the same thing, but so, it was just funny to see it played out, you know what I mean? I'm going to get straight to it, Boo Boo, November, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. What, what are we talking so about? So, yeah, originally, we are trying to make the fight happen with Mungia, and he backed out last minute, so we weren't able to make it with him, and now... Like I said, I want to be a man of my word. I said I want to either get Google, Canelo, Munguia, or, uh, or uh, fuck, uh, what's his name, Morel. And we weren't able to get Munguia, and, but now it looks like Demetrius Andre is going to happen. So that's, that's a really good fight in the tournament. Do you consider, at least on paper, do you think you'll be a more difficult fight than Caleb Plant? To be honest, I don't know. I think the only difference it is is that he's lefty. I feel like it's the same type of fighter. I, but I feel like once, I'm, I'm just too strong, too big and strong for him. I feel like once they see, just like happened to Caleb Plant, like once we get to the middle, in the middle rounds, I start to take over. And I see the same the same thing happening in this place. Do you feel like this is more of a, of a Arizona fight or like a Las Vegas? So I think it's going to be Las, either Las Vegas or California, but I'm yeah. not 100% sure yet. Okay. So that's back-to-back pay-per-views now, man. You ain't, yeah. you ain't fighting on regular TV anymore, yeah. no man. So I'm excited. Like a, after this pay-per-view fight, the last one, I just got another level of motivation, and I just want to keep working hard because I know these fighters are good. But um, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're getting more experience, and like I said, now, now I'm just building my path and my legacy, and I'm, I'm very excited for the future. Yeah, and you got another one of your favorites, Diego Pacheco. You fight yeah. in November, and he just announced it uh, in LA. Yeah, so we got a lot of good fighters. We got Daniel Blancas, got my brother Jose Benavides, Diego Pacheco, and, and also myself. So we're all training hard. We have the same goal, you know what I mean? So I feel like once you have a group of guys, that they're all looking to accomplish the same thing. Everybody gets even more motivated. So I'm just, I'm just happy to be working with those guys. Do you see yourself now and Andre, man? I do. Um, I feel like the fight with Caleb Plant really. Um, I see what I did wrong, and that's basically, you know, you have to not smother yourself, throw more combination punches. But it's fine. Like I said, you live and you learn. That was a fight where I really learned on the things that I, I need to work on, and that's, we've been working on it the whole summer. You know what I mean? So, but. Like, the, the problems I have with Caleb Plant, I don't think I'm going to have them no more. I'm, I'm more fluent, moving around a lot, you know, so I, I, I have a lot of new skills to show, and I'm happy to, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to show that to the people. And, and what message do you have for Andre, if he was standing right in front of you? I, I mean, I'll tell him, if he was standing in front of me, I'll tell him I'm excited to fight him, you know what I mean? It, every man versus every man, may the best man win, so I, I don't got no problems with him. Uh, he's been, uh, been looking for a big fight, I'm happy to be able to help him with that, and let's get the fans a great fight.